Hey there guys, I'm um, Danks564 and this is continuation of our Let's Play of Outer Worlds and we are going to go and uh, install the radiator now. So, shall we? I think against, you know, critters, light machine gun will be good, hopefully. I feel like machine gun is bad against armor targets but it's pretty, should be pretty damn good against uh, you know where is it that was a nice warm up okay everybody's dead does this thing have no it doesn't think doesn't have anything it looks like Anything else in here? Doesn't look like it. Okay. Let's go and install this uh, radiator. Shall we? Anything interesting in here? No, uh, there's some things. Oh. There's some sort of a terminal that I didn't notice there. What is it? Archived logs and transmission. Arrival confirmation. To HBB, Earth HQ, transmitted via probe. Achieve, uh, archived at source. It is my honor to report that Groundbreaker has successfully arrived at the Lagrange point. Lagrange, I believe, right? It's called. Having released our cargo to prefab housing, settlers, and supplies at the intended colony worlds, may the... May they prosper and expand now that stages one and two of the mission have been carried out. My family will take ownership of the groundbreakers specified in our contract, keeping the ship in active duty as an independent trading post, repair shop and cargo bay. It'd be remiss if I closed this transmission without sending my hopes and best wishes back to Earth. There's so much ahead of us, but we'll never forget what we left behind. Lagrange Point, I believe, is the location in orbit where you... where basically the object doesn't move, right? So it's constant location that you just stand in constant location, say, to the sun or to, to the planet. As turn reminder, some very rich and unsavory elements among our colonial neighbors seem to have the wrong idea about why I flew us out here. It wasn't for a nine-figure blood money salary and Spacer's Choice logo stamp on my ass. It, was to it wasn't to nickel and dime passing ships out of their last bit. Groundbreaker has no role in the success or failure of Hycelian corporate entities, period. I negotiated that under understanding and clearly outlined it in writing before I ever set foot on this ship. If anyone wants to dispute or compromise our independence, they will answer to uh, Tennyson. We're a family operation. Even when the last ten Tennyson falls, Groundbreaker will remember us and defend its freedom accordingly. Okay, so I guess this were the first kind of entries during your adventure things may happen to your character that can trigger a flaw offer taking the flaw is optional but doing so provides you with a perk choice is yours after repeatedly falling from great huts you no longer function well when uh, the ground is far beneath you hmm for big dexterity minus one, perception minus one, temperament minus one. Uh, well, that's kind of bad. Is it when I'm on? Not sure, like how it works. If it provided better explanation for it, maybe. I think it may be when you're high, right? But. How high is high? Will that be considered high? Like I'm on the second level? Is that one in... You know... Things happen or... Uh, 
Or what? Like how... I need a bit more explanation before... Okay. Something, something. Oh, sentries. Someone else will clean this up, right? Okay. Come on, show yourself. Don't mess with us. Where are they? Uh, they're probably downstairs, right? Oh shit. Where did he come from? Was he always there? And I didn't notice or something? No, oh, there they are. Maybe if I'll shoot the, the thing, it'll kill them. Nope. It didn't. Yep, looks like it. Okay, let's go down. That's no. The Logs. Coupled together. The stuff is getting restless. Work around and half uh, cock solution are all we have. We've got to man ground break his bones. In many cases, we can't receive. Uh, revive one system without cannibalizing the another. Grandma lived with uh, that reality, and so will I. I can re rally our spirits, but what happens when I'm not around? Groundbreaker's real test will be seeing if our independence outlasts me. I'll take the bat, that bat. Old plans, new problems. Found some of Chief. Ying's old schematics. Groundbreaker must have taken a beating during crossing because she spent half her career patching it up. Lots of corners cut when they put this place together. Among her papers, I also found the layout of a hangar that doesn't match any of my dogs. Something that might have gotten sealed off along the way, like blood cells isolating an infestation infection. I hate to put sentiment down in print, but every time I open a panel or find some workaround in the gut of this old bird, it's like I can feel you reaching out to me from the past, Grandma. Okay, cycle, drop the pumps. Reminder, not non-expandable personnel must exit main sh maintenance shop before activating the cycling protocol. Done. The temperatures are dropping. Cool. Once you found your way out of there. Groundbreaker owes you things. No, let's get out of here. What kind of quest do I still have? I think all the quests on Groundbreaker are, are done, right? This is when you talk to... Uh, no, that's return to Jumlei. Uh, this we need distress recording. All right, Roseway. Roseway is also the quest where we need to find parts for the what's it called? The droid. Is most likely somewhere in. Yeah. Check if Parvati. Yeah, we need to talk with Parvati. Drag around Reginald Cheney. Take Max to visit Reginald Chenius, ask him about Ben Journal. Yeah, he's on Monarch.
find... Yeah, yeah, this is on Roseway. Okay. I'll need to talk to Ellie on the ship, I'm thinking. Ooh, and it's all cooler now. What's in there? Can I get inside? Great work. I'll be back. Weapon parts. Okay. Lots of stuff. Uh, no. Please close the door. Uh, yep. Pick everything up. Is that all? Oh, come on. Close it. That's all. Fine. Hey there. My boards are returning to green. What a weight that is off my shoulders. I don't normally tolerate outsiders mucking about in my station's guts, but you're all right. The temperature should be dropping as we speak. I'll see to it the crew knows who kept us all from boiling alive. If you've got time, I believe Edna has a comms issue that could use your attention. I've also authorized Doc and Furu to sell you our premium meds. Okay, who's Edna again? You don't have right. reputation in board? The board is after two things, bits and power. And they only get it by sticking their nose where it doesn't belong. Okay, you must not like Udom Bedford very much. I like to think of myself as a nice person. But if that gaudy embassy of his was on fire, I might hold my breath a moment before activating the sprinkler system. The board wants control over Groundbreaker, and leeches like Udon Bedford will do anything to please their corporate masters. Okay. How do we keep them at the safe distance? I placate them when I have something to offer, but I can also be a real hard ass. It'd be a joy if I could kick out the corporate merchants and reclaim the docking fees in my lifetime. Too much of Groundbreaker's income is flowing in the wrong direction. I'd like to see that change. Hmm. You've got my attention. Uh, never mind. Who's, uh, Edna? No. Stress signal. No, that's not the one. Who was Edna? Or, yeah, you're Edna. You aiming to send a message? If so, we best do it now while we still got time. And no, Ellie, that offer does not extend to you broadcasting another of your crude jokes. Hey, that's a real planet. And no one's seen it in a long time. Damn it, Ellie. I don't have time for your shenanigans. Anyway, like I was saying, you aiming to send a message, you better be quick. Okay. Why would we run out of time? You headed somewhere? Me? No. But our relaying capabilities... That's on the final countdown. We're going offline in three, two, one and a half. No. Wait, I've lost track of my weeks. Maybe it was 36 or uh, sometime dire soon. Why are we about to lose comp capabilities? Our primary relay station soon to be occluded by a gas giant. Happens every 40 years or thereabouts. The event's forecasted to last for months, during which we'll lose signal to the station. And that's our problem, how? We've got backup auxiliary relays, but the one currently in orbital range went offline some months ago. We can't spare people for routine maintenance. Hmm. Sounds like it's time to get station back online. Yeah, I'm working on it. I finally got the chief to approve the budget for a diagnostic expedition. But allocating the personnel loss for sending a technical team to the relay station keeps getting denied by Junlei. Um, the chief. I could check out the relay. No need for official sign-off in that case. I should say no, but why not? 
Maybe you can figure out why it's offline. I'll send you with an equipment manual. Hopefully we'll get lucky, or I'll get my approval in time. Oh, and I'll need you to retrieve a copy of the Relay's backup data. I gotta forward any messages from Earth stored in the memory. Better late than never, eh? What do you mean? The Relay stations orbit the edge of the Halcyon system, so they tend to receive the majority of any transmissions from Earth. I'm sure the station's got a stack of junk messages just waiting for me to sort through. Okay. Uh, you just let messages from Earth sit in the memory of an orbital relay? It's not like they're in high demand. Most tend to be adverts on new products, meaning only folks in Byzantium can afford them. Okay. Will do. By the way, what's Ellie's special ability? Her quick draw. Ellie quickly draws her pistol and fires it off a series of a series of precision shots at target at her target. Okay. Deals bleeding damage. Eh, fine. Okay, let's go back to the ship. We'll talk to both Ellie and Parvati. And then we'll probably fix the relay station. It shouldn't be like too hard, right? And after that, we'll go to Roseway. Hey, that pad down there, with the lights off, there are people unloading shit. Okay, and this guy, I think he was talking to us. I think he wants to join. Hey, you got a second? Sure. Fancy running into you again. Don't mind me. It's just admiring your ship from up close. Gotta hand it to you, boss. That's a fine-looking ship. Only thing it's missing is me. You're pretty eager to throw in with somebody you barely know. Yes, I absolutely am. Just give me a shot. That's all I'm asking. I could be the best damn crew you ever hired. Okay, tell me why should I hire you? You're serious. You're giving me a shot. All right. Uh, hang on. Hang on. I put together a little speech, just in case you asked. <laughs> hey there. I'm Felix Millstone. I have prepared a list of reasons why I believe you should hire me to join the crew of your ship and or outlaw gang. <laughs> I'm actually enjoying it. Go on. Firstly, I am highly personable. And I get along well with anyone who is not of the jackass persuasion. <laughs> uh, secondly, I can be counted on in the event of a firefight, standoff, and or raid. My motto is, if you need a steady gun hand, I'm your man. That motto is a, it's a work in progress. Okay. Uh, sure, you heard. Wow. <laughs> you don't know how long I've been waiting to hear that. Thanks, boss. You're not going to regret this. I hope so. Uh, see you on ship, Felix. I'll just gather my personals and meet you on board. This is going to be great. Really? We're picking up strays now? Look at that. A real vicar. <laughs> I'm sure we'll get along like a church on fire. Hey, we have spare, ca uh, spare cabins, right? We need more people. To crew the ship, probably. So. Did you bring me anything? New parts? Last weekend's crossword puzzle? Preferably have acquired all, all the cyber we have time. acquired. Petty? What, what's petty? Diagnostic manual. Increase lighter. Stress coal. That's junk, though. Okay, Felix. What can you do? You can do Persuade. You know what? Let's uh, give you that. What is that? Fine aim. Ooh, he's a... He's a heavy weapons guy, right? So, use your heavy weapon, then. Dropkick, Felix charges uh, his target, leaps into the air, and slams into the target. 
both feet. <laughs> Hilarious. Ooh, engineering plus 15. Perception minus one. Okay, we'll uh, we'll see what we can do here. Parvati. Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Sure thing. So, June Lei and I have been talking some. Through messages, I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. Comes from the heart, you'd say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kinda. <laughs> Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. Yeah, it could be just nerves. Besides, she's like, really, you know, normal. She's just shy, it looks like. Could just be nerves. No, sir, that's not it. I guess I just needed to talk. I'm feeling a touch better. Thanks for hearing me out, Captain. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm going to change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends, got to thinking... Isabel? Who's... who's Isabel? Everything okay? They were... close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. They were close? Not anymore? I don't know. June Lei talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? The Lost Hope? <laughs> if that's what you want, next time we're in hit Groundbreaker, drinks are on me. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. Ooh, level up. Cool. Uh, what do we want? Uh, I'm, I'm actually doing okay on weapons for now. Really not sure if I should increase that. I'm doing okay on most of the stuff, really. For now, at least. So... Companion critical damage plus 20%. Hmm. Might increase my sneak. Or maybe dialogue. Persuade to 50. Then eleven percent dodge distance. Dodge also can probably be used like to jump over stuff, right? I don't, I'm not using it on enough. Maybe I should like use it more. Dodge recovery speed hundred percent. Dodge protection thirty percent. Armor rating for five every time dodge. Dodging your next melee attack gains. It's more for a melee, I would think, kind of thing, right? But leaping forward is useful. You know what, let's go to 50 here. 
and uh, maybe 52 hack. Maybe like just should go to 50 and lock picking. Yeah, good enough. I say. Okay, good enough for me. Now, let's go and talk to our new. Right. Maybe those things that I picked up, maybe they're like here somewhere? No, it doesn't look like it. Hmm. This thing, I don't remember. Adelaide Deserters. Oh, yeah. Is this new here? Right, let's go and talk to Ellie and what's his face? Vicar. That's who's. It's probably Ellie's, right? Or something? Oh, there's Ellie and uh, the other guy. Something on your mind? I'd like to know more about you. I'm a surgeon by training and a pirate by inclination. Not much else to know, Captain. I like long walks on the promenade and the smell of Spacer's Corona. I make a mean zero-G cocktail and I've got a meaner right hook. What's the zero-G cocktail? It's a mix of whatever you've got on hand. Usually zero-G brew with some Spectrum vodka if you're lucky. Purple berry shake if you're not. Hmm. Inventive. I like it. I'll make you one sometime. If you don't enjoy it, I'll make a few more until you do. You get it? Do you have much experience contracting out with other captains? Sure do. Some of it was even legal. <laughs> you were joking about being a pirate. What gave it away? It's the hair, right? Or maybe the ammo belt? I had it custom made. Okay. Wait, you want want to look like a pirate? Got to advertise your business somehow. I've done all types of work with all kinds of crews. If there's one thing you ought to know about me, it's that I won't tell you your business. Your ship, your way. Fair enough. Sounds reasonable. Glad to hear it. It's worked for me this long. Uh, I was hoping to know something more personal about you. Well, my blood type is AB positive, I'm a Leo, and I despise Space Hospital. Never mind what anyone else tries to tell you. That about covers it. Hmm. Where are you from? How'd you get into this line of work? Aw, oh, come on. That stuff's boring. You're deflecting. Look, the thing I've learned about living in close quarters is that you've got to give people room to breathe. I'm all for making a few bits together and having fun doing it, but let's keep a little professional distance. Okay. No complaint. Well, fine. Uh, you there, Felix. Good to see you, boss. Tell me about yourself. How do you end up on Groundkeeper? Didn't I tell you? I'm secretly the chairman's orphan child, abandoned at birth in the back bays. <laughs> then we, we were raised by a pack of sprats, right? That's right. Can't get anything past you, boss. Honestly, before you picked me up, I was living in the back bays. Spent my whole life up there, watching ships roll in and take off. I always wondered when my ship would come. I was what folks on the Groundbreaker call a stowaway. Means I was invisible. Life carried on for everybody else, but not for me. I had to make my own way. If you think about it, right? If you if you're living on like a ship, your whole fucking life, it gotta be awful. You were a stowaway? That's what they called us, orphans with no family, no company to take us in, nowhere to go but the back bays. The words a touch kindlier than rung leech, but the meaning's just as clear. If you can't support your own self, you don't deserve to be on the groundbreaker. How did you manage? Same way we all do. Look for work and hope somebody would give me a shot. 
Hauling boxes was about the only work I could find. Hated every second of it. Foreman and I never got on. Okay. Right, the incident with the toss ball stick. Could be I was overreacting. A better man might have turned the other cheek. Exercised a little bit of that, what's the word? Restraint? But on the other hand, broadsiding the jackass with a toss ball stick, that felt good. That felt real good. You want to try it. One-handed, two-handed. If we have a disagreement, I expect you to be civilized. Oh, I can do civilized. Proper civilized, too. Genuflecting and everything. I caught a real lucky break. If you hadn't picked me up, I'd still be back at the docks, waiting for the day my ship arrives. Well, I'm glad you're not wasting your life hauling yeah. boxes. I guess my ship did arrive in the end. I've got you to thank for that. Thanks for listening, boss. Let's get... Yep. Okay, let's take... Uh, Parvati and go and talk to her at the bar. I guess we're uh, setting up her love life now. Come on. Uh, let's say Parvati and... How about Felix? No. Parvati and Felix. Felix? Oh, Doc. Let's go with Felix. I need to check what's uh, what Felix has. I probably could have checked it from the menu, really. Right, right. Felix, you have grenade launcher. Nice. What was that? It's pretty cool. Okay, uh, Parvati, your thing. Mm, sure, let's go with that. Felix, how about your armor? What do you have? Armor of 12, armor of 9, provided... What is your armor? I guess it's okay. Sure, grab the thing. And as far as your behavior, you probably should be... Mostly at range, right? Well, no, you, you have uh, your abilities to like go ahead and uh, jump kick someone. So hey, be careful with those crates, huh? maybe mixed would be good. Right, over there. Uh, rest go. Oh, what? What sort of uh, quest are... Right, right, right. That's not what I want. That's what we want. And we haven't been to Lost Hope, so... Maybe there are some more quests here? So, how's this work? Do we get a table? Stand in a corner? Hours a day and half of us still can't afford a bed. Do you have what it takes to defend your corporate township from the... You there. Okay, so... What are we drinking? You're the expert? Oh, and don't worry on the price. I got this. Let's just do it proper. Hmm. You're new to this, to the whole loosening up thing. How about wine? Hmm. Are you sure you want to do this? You seem nervous. Oh, no, that's just... That's on account of my not being able to sleep lately. Makes my hands all twitchy, you know. I've just been lying awake, thinking about what June Lay said, and... I feel my heart shake. Okay. Well, let's start with wine. Well, that's fruit and such, right? Okay. Wine it is. Bottoms up. I'm no expert on wine, but ain't you supposed to drink that stuff with your little finger up? Wow, this is really kind of nice, actually. <laughs> we'll make her into an alcoholic. Maybe this old fruit could taste so good. Oh, Captain. I'm pining for June like something fierce. What am I doing? Hmm. 
Go on a great and grand adventure across Hycelian. You're funny. Yeah, I guess we're doing that, aren't we? Crewing together, seeing the stars. It's like something out of a serial. I like the ones with grand romances. And I think... I think I'm flubbing mine. I don't know what to do about... us. Hmm. Well, start by telling me why her message got you so unsettled. Well, she talked about another girl, right? Isabel. Mentioned her by name and everything, like she wanted me to know. Maybe I've been making a right fool of myself this whole time. Maybe she's not interested after all. Hmm. <laughs> no one sounds terrible, vaguely sensual poetry to someone they don't like. Uh, I, I don't know, I'd call it, uh, sensual. That's a lot. The poem applied you cal calming her with a touch. That's some um, Roman serial great stuff. It did. Oh dear, I hadn't really... Oh my goodness. And I told you! So, Parvati, you gonna read this poem for us, or do we have to turn down the lights first? So what'd she actually write in the message? It was real long and rambly. She was telling me a story about her dad, how a lady named Isabel did all sorts of things to try to win his favor. This Isabel lady never quite managed to get her dad's approval, but they carried on anyways. Made something good out of a bad situation. Then it all went down the tubes. Do you think Junlei still has feelings for her? Hmm. What's it really about? I just got a lot of feelings, Captain, and they're all climbing up my throat. I need another drink. Right now. Before I lose my nerve. Okay, let's get you some water. Come on, Captain. I'm here to drink. Okay, maybe you're right. I am a little woozy. Hydration, here I come. Good thinking, boss. You just saved Parvati a whole lot of trouble. Shush you. Oh, Captain, I want to talk to Junlei all the time. Even about silly things, but I'm so scared. About what? Um, everything? I got a solar system's worth of terrifying questions swirling around my head. Does she think I'm as pretty as I think she's handsome? What if she doesn't like me? What if she does? What if she's still got feelings for that lady, Isabel? What if we, we get together and... She gets bored of me. Uh, well, <laughs> there's really easy way to get answer to all these questions. Oh, there's nothing easy about... about spilling your guts to the person who's got your heart in their hands. You know I'm not interested in physical affection. That's... Well, it's tripped folks up in the past. Folks I thought cared about me for me. What if she's not okay with that? What if she is, but then later, she's not? Hmm. Are you afraid of being rejected for who you are? Of course. Wouldn't you be? Everyone is. Yeah. No, no matter of their quirks. Huh. I never thought of it that way. I wonder what June's afraid of being rejected for. She seems perfect to me. Maybe those are just my rosish colored goggles talking. To be strong like her. Gosh, I don't know that I got that in me. Sometimes I feel real mean inside, Captain. I think ungenerous thoughts. Well, uh, we all do. I suppose so, but I, I want to be my best self for her. A good person, worth caring for. Well, Captain, this has been... This has been a whole lot. I got just... Wow. So much to think about. So are you going to ask her? Ask her out? 
Oh gosh, I, I don't know, Captain. Do you think I should? Sure. You're still unsure? Yes, just ask her. All right, all right. There's no need to strip your screws over it. Okay. I, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna ask June out. Just as soon as we get back to the ship. I mean, probably. Eventually. Thanks for hearing me out and giving me counsel. And, well, for being a friend. It means a whole lot. You're good people, Captain. You know something, Parvati? You ought to come drinking with the crew more often. Huh. All right. Thank you, guys. You're real good friends, you know that? I wish... I wish there was a place we could all live quiet together. Come on, let's go. Cool. Will it update to take the ride back to the ship? Sure. Uh, interior, go. Why was I built to feel ennui? Oh, well, let's talk to Parvati now. Hey, Captain. I hope I wasn't too much bother at the bar. I did have fun, and I tried some things I never would have otherwise. Some of the drinks we tried I even liked. I guess it's not all disgusting. And I don't feel it today. I guess that water must have worked. I'm glad I had you looking out for me. Oh, glad did you talk to Jun Lei, by the way? I messaged Jun Lei when we got back, and she replied super quick. <clears throat> okay. I was awake half the night, thinking about what I sent, anxious to see what you said. I reread my message in the morning, and it was unclear. I was drinking when I sent it. Otherwise, I wouldn't have had the courage. Also, sorry for the typos. Okay, not so bad so far. I've ruined things in the past because I didn't say things I should have, like... I've met someone who's become special to me. I want to be honest with her, so if she feels the same about me, there won't be any surprises. So, Junle Jun does like you, and she said it in the most awkward way possible. Oh, isn't she sweet? Like one of those two-bit romances where one soul's all stiff and formal, and... I should be glad to perhaps take hold of your hand, miss. I ought to go write her back. I mean, I already did. Twice. <laughs> but anyhow, thanks for taking me out, Captain. Cool. Well, <laughs> I'm like a cupid here. Okay, guys, I will make a cut here. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it, and goodbye.